For a long time now, many have associated Pumwani Maternity Hospital with scandals. However, in light of the Mashuja celebrations, we continue to celebrate Kenya's gems as we feature the largest public maternity hospital in the country and in the sub-Saharan Africa, founded in 1926, way before independence. We feature Pumwani Hospital, which is the largest public maternity hospital. And in a day, they receive about 80 deliveries on average alone. So we'll get to hear their achievements and successes. Follow me. Pumwani, derived from a Swahili word, means to breathe or relax. This maternity hospital, founded in 1926 by Lady Greek Welfare, and having its first permanent building put up in 1928 has had its challenges and successes, bringing life to the world. It was built actually by a group of uh, British ladies before independence who wanted to invest in society. They worked in Matari, mental health. They did a lot of good things. And they also Lady Griggs was one of the ladies who uh, formed this East African women group. Mm -hmm. And they were doing kind of thinking what is really needed. So that was the kind of the concept of Pumani. President Jomo Kenyatta could open this maternity in think, 28. The hospital, which now falls under the Nairobi Metropolitan Services, Professor Malin Tamaman, the current chair of the hospital board, recalls working in Pumwani in 1987, fully for six years, and afterwards joining the hospital management in 2015. And there was a shortage of everything, also the materials. And we didn't, we had some gloves, but not enough. So after every delivery, we had to wash the, the gloves and to hang them there to dry. Yes. At that time, there was a shortage not only of supplies, but shortage of nurses, doctors. Now, much better. Something else, when I came here in 86, 87, we did not have in the newborn unit, there was no incubator. Mm -hmm. An incubator for preterm babies. No. No. Then we managed, uh, again, with partners and with uh, you know, advocacy and stakeholders together to buy one. Mm -hmm. And in that one, there were like five babies, preterm babies, but it didn't matter. You know, they had a better chance of survival. Today, being an obstetric and referral hospital for delivery of expectant mothers in Nairobi and adjoining districts, with 354 obstetric beds, 144 baby cots, and two theaters, Professor Marlene Temerman recalls unveiling the first labor ward theater on 1st February 2001. So there was only one and it was broken down a bit. So we, we, we collected money and we really made this. Um, this theater, the very first ultrasound machine, we brought also with charity money and doing, you know, um, advocacy. We managed to get two small ultrasound machines, the first ones in Kenya in, in the mid 80s. And it really changed a lot because moms are coming in with bleeding or whatever. And at least that then we could see, is the baby alive? Is it a twin? Professor Marlin shares a dream for the hospital. Look at the many Kenyans who are born here. Many of them are now Mama Kubwa, Buana Kubwa in politics, in business, in whatever, influential people. So I think they should pay back, invest in the place where they have seen the light. Working in the newborn unit with Dr. Beth Maina, the deputy medical superintendent and head of clinical services, we get the privilege of seeing new life. In these rooms, the babies graduate from room to room, depending on whether they are born premature or to term, and whether they have any condition. A lot of the time they are fed by a couple, a tube, because they are too small to, to swallow, I mean to feed, to breastfeed. But here the kind of care we give, because these are sick preterm. Some may need, may be having sepsis, that is infection, so they are on antibiotic. Some are on IV fluids because of maybe they cannot take orally. Okay. Others are on oxygen. Others, you see this blue light? Yes. Those ones have jaundice, yellowness of the body. Here, these four rooms with the capacity to hold 17 to 20 mothers, we get to see the kangaroo mother care, where there is skin-to-skin -skin contact with newborns born before 37 weeks of gestation. 
hii method imenisaidia kwa sababu naona wait ya mtoto wangu ili shoot haraka alafu pia at least size na get involved kuangalia unajua before tulikuwa kwa incubator so ilikuwa tu ku breastfeed na kuenda but size na get kumsikia vile ana breathe vile ana yani na, i'm so involved vile ana grow mhm mm-hmm. na vile tuna bond this method which prevents preterm deaths by 25% the mothers are trained on how to best take care of their young ones with the overall goal being to ensure the child is 1800 grams before they are discharged welcome to pumwani lactation support center which we are very very proud of because this is the first not just in the country but both in east and central africa in this room mothers get to donate milk to abandoned or orphaned babies and well babies or to sick mothers and preterm babies purely voluntary of course there is no pay it's just that like the way you can donate blood so the mothers come before they come to donate we have a nurse who goes there to you know try recruit and talk to them and confirm that they have surplus so if you are willing to give voluntarily now you are invited here so here you are again taken through they cancel you more uh, they take a history there is usually a screening tool to ensure that you are not a high risk person eh? and then there is some test that you have to do usually we investigate for hiv for hepatitis b and hep- for hepatitis c and syphilis So if we take your blood and you have any of those condition we of course will cancel you and tell you have this condition and you are going to be linked to care and treatment but you can't be a donor After the mother pumps the milk through this machine we get to see the milk bank where one has to sanitize and remove their shoes before getting into the room stocked with refrigerators and machines Once they get the results that the blood work is clean and the milk is safe The raw milk is stored in the refrigerator with a red sticker. The raw milk is then put in the milk pasteurizer which preserves the nutrients after it is heated for 30 minutes at 62 degrees to kill all microbes. In this process, the milk is tested through a microchip to ensure it is well pasteurized. Then the same machine cools it before it is stored in a refrigerator. with the longevity of up to 6 months once ready it is stored in the ready to use refrigerator with the green sticker and used only through prescription from the period of since its inception in 2019 in the last weeks about 1200 have benefited from the milk with about 700 donors giving the milk <laughs> reporting for switch tv my name is harriet Chimea. Thank you Harry Chimea for highlighting the largest maternity hospital not just in Kenya but in the sub-Saharan Africa right here in Kenya's capital Nairobi.